And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early. The markets are open, be awake and not woke. Yes, yes, sir. And what what's going on? Well, let's take a look at the crypto bubbles here. Shout out to the banter people. Awesome little tool here on the 15 minute time frame. You can see Bitcoin down 1.25% and bone getting it on the chin. Today, say down 20% getting wrecked and uh, Akasha Neka, Akasha, shout out to Jim on that one, uh, up 7.8%. And we'll get into some Ethereum analysis. We'll talk about Coinbase launching their futures and uh, what else, what is, what else I wanna remind people? Uh, look, the narrative doesn't create the price. The price creates the narrative, just kidding. No, um, I wanna get give a shout out to Crown on that quote, amazing quote. I, I, I agree, um, I agree with the analysis, sir. All right, on the other side of the fence, uh, let's get back in. Well, Pepe looks like it's gonna play down a little bit more, maybe to the bottom side of the range here, if we can break this level, but Bitcoin in particular, what am I looking for on, uh, well, on the 15 minute time frame for the reversal to happen, I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna clean up the chart a little bit. You wanna see something like this. Boom, boom, a W with a higher low. Here's our chance right now to make the higher low as long as we do not take out this wick. However, I do think the market makers wanna push price down a little bit further, 2250 short term and then a little bit deeper, 20, 28,100 will be the uh, downside target as long as we're below this pivot now. Uh, now this is the pivot on the 15 minute time frame. Actually, you could front run it by closing a 15 minute above here and then making a higher low. So you'd wanna see price do something like this. Boop. And then uh, if we can get above this area, uh, above this last one hour consolidation, above that, 29.3 pivot. Well, uh, in fact, I think we'll ultimately be heading up to about 29.850, the upside target, 29.850. Uh, lots of liquidity, liquidations up in that zone. Remember, this is the month of August, the most boring month of price action. Historically, for Bitcoin's price action, if you look at the month of August, I think the net gain is not up or down, it's like 0.01%. So what's happening all the institutional traders are on vacation enjoying their families and it's august it's summer people are out and about and september they come back for the jackson hole meeting and that is the big question you know is powell going to spank the markets with another rate hike this year with inflation coming down economic data suggesting that uh, overall the economy is healthy and hot um, jobless claims down again, bullish for the dollar. Uh, initial jobless claims up there slightly. So four week average climbed or went down, but the August numbers uh, went up. And the big, you know, these treasury auctions, they've been struggling, right? So the four week bill at 5.8%, the 15 year mortgage at 16, six and a quarter, six, 7% for a mortgage on your house right now. And apparently real estate's still going up uh, because there's no inventory on the market. This is where I would like to see a bounce if we're gonna reverse on the lower term time frame. Um, what do I see on the four hour? Uh, four hour uh, has got another hour and 36 to go. And really that is a bottoming candle. And unless we can take out this wick and maybe grab the liquidity one more time, I think the analysis hit pretty nicely from yesterday. Uh, 28, uh, I believe the number was 28, 375, something like that. And uh, target got hit uh, pretty, pretty, pretty darn nicely uh, yesterday. Targets hit. Um, and right now the next level down is going to be that 28,100 level, which is, where is that 28 one? So I'll put a little, uh, 28 one. And so can anybody, can anything validate our bias here? Um, 
28.1. Can we get a wick down there and then a little bounce? Remember, price action doesn't go straight up or straight down. It is like this, right? And right now, it seems like the cone formation is valid. And until we violate, I mean, really this next level at 28.1, which I don't think we will. 28.1 is uh, likely to hold. And then uh, we run it up to the top side one more time create another lower high on the daily. If we are gonna remain below that 29,950, that's, yeah, that's way up here. I mean, that would be some interesting price action. I do think if we start to come up back to the top side, it's gonna goose the odds in the favor of the bulls. We'll analyze things from there. We're still waiting for the bounce. And ultimately, if you look at CMEs, this is a bit of a warning signal on CMEs as the CMEs are where the futures market trade, you know, professional traders and whatnot. But hey, the market could always gap back up next week. But uh, this kind of price action, you know, typically leads to a bit more downside. We'll see if some more volume pours in on this candle. Um, we're just sitting right on the edge here. But the weekly bearish divergence will get confirmed if we close anywhere here or lower. Gosh, we got two two days left. I, I It's not Friday. It's Thursday today, right? Thursday. So we got another day left to go and momentum will remain to the downside as long as Bitcoin is below 30,300. You know, goosing the odds in the favor of the bears there. Uh, so 28, one to the downside and then to the upside, um, 29,850. I mean, probably a short stop at 29,300. So I guess I'll just mark these areas off. Let's see if I can get a little bit cleaner of a chart. Do I have them marked off? So that is yeah kind of base case scenario looking for a little bit of a whip down and then a whip back to the upside uh, but here's where i could see a reversal happening on the 50 minute time frame it's the first three hours of the u.s session so maybe this was the fake out uh, we were waiting for and technically speaking as long as we don't take out that wick you're going to see the higher low forming right here and uh, you know confirmation on bitcoin back above uh 28.7 looking for a good lift off and uh you know at least targeting that 29.3 area for some time and yeah as long as we don't close back below 28.359 or this wick in particular i'd say uh, more likely to bounce than not without even looking at Dixie. Dixie is putting in a bit of a rally. We're consolidating above that zone. We're heading towards that dollar, uh, dollar, dollar 350, which was the range that we were talking about for some time. We didn't quite close above the last pivot, the last line in the sand and, um, Momentum will cross down below 103.37 today. Let's check in on the Chinese currency as everybody's saying, oh, and I'll check in on the liquidity as well, right? So I have a liquidity chart, which shows what's going on in China. They're dumping liquidity in. Stable coin liquidity is down also. So apparently people are buying some coins and major central banks liquidity. It looks like it is getting slightly positive but the last time we had uh this you know massive oh this is dixie sorry well, let's take a look at bitcoin so how many billions 42 billion injected over the last couple of days so call it 100 and you know 125 billion well, how did this last rally start with a round of stimulus? Uh, probably, you know, a couple hundred billion or, you know, it looks like maybe 200 billion, 200 billion, and then boom. So similar pattern here, we get some liquidity. Wanna see this sustain for a bit more and um, see and, and kind of judge it from there because apparently they're ch selling some Chinese stocks today. I heard the Chinese stock market was down. Walmart came in with significant earnings, higher than expected, showing the economy is still hot. 
You got the 20 year at 4.9. We're looking for that one to ultimately get up to 5.23. We got the 10 year um, almost up to our target of 4.33. If that thing does break, do you see a W? Do you see a W on the daily time frame? It can start as low as here. I do see a W. So what is the W I want to get my other chart on? Here we go. And W's look like this. You could say lower high higher low okay higher high and then higher low boom there's your reversal right there it's that first higher low on the daily time frame it usually does it so then we got consolidation uh another could you call this another leg up here boom three boom so moves in three legs perhaps we should pull out a higher term time frame. And to say the least, we got a higher high, higher low, and reversal on the 10 year looking strong. Where's the breakout level? Could you call that a W? No, but you caught this W right here, the first higher low, boom on the weekly. Volatility is just increasing off the lows. And yeah, that's, that's bullishness for the 10 year. And maybe Michael Burry is right. Apparently, Michael Burry is uh, buying these far out of the money puts. Oh, look at the 30 year. Good luck, bu good luck buying a house, guys. Uh, mortgage is at four. This thing is heading up. And uh, we said these are the next two levels. Here would be our breakout. Um, wow. And we're getting back into the bullish control zone on the RSI. By the way, if you guys want a little more information, you want to learn how to trade, you want to learn how to set up trading view, we've got a link in the description below. Uh, we also have a free crypto trading course. Feel free to check it out. Um, get all the indicators and uh, there is an affiliate link for trading view there. Um, interesting. So just combing the markets, um, looking at NASDAQ. So we said Dixie is, uh, putting in a bit of a, a rally consolidation doesn't have the W yet on the weekly, but on the daily, perhaps that was it right there. Higher high, higher lower, boom. Silver cross, you know, gonna remain bullish on this one until we get back below 106.69. And uh, yep that it's okay to retest you know put in another higher low somewhere around here but otherwise do dollar looks bullish narrative for the do dollar looks bullish and perhaps we're going to go for that gap fill um on the daily though it looks like it may want to bounce first um f we can close back back you know back above 4467 probably going to bounce first but there is a nice little gap that wants to get filled and maybe we don't send it up to new all-time highs quite yet. Point for the bears there. And the VIX is heading up here. So, you know, creating that uh, W right here. Did we get the higher low? Yeah, we did. Higher low on the daily and the hourly. So VIX is, uh, you know, nice little upward uptrend on the hourly kind of inconsequential. I do want to check in on open interest. I heard open interest is clean, uh, you know, heading up here and we need the liquidity to come back into the market for, um, you know, to get the next big volatile move. That's what we want to see. I'm going to come up today, but fear and greed index. Let's check out that one. Um, actually I can just move this over here and then I can sign in. Fear and greed in, come in in a neutral. Market is dead and nobody cares about anything. I do want to take a pe peek at this say coin. SEI, which I heard from my friend at the gym here. Oh, oh no, say coin. Telegram trading coin, something like that. Not confirmed. I haven't listened to the whole run up on this one yet. 
but uh, I do think, anyways, we'll be following up on this one. Nothing I want to touch right now. Um, Ave, uh, Ave is uh, putting in another lower high on the hourly and uh, not looking good there. LPT, another one that's been popping up. Uni absolutely got crushed from the highs and uh, looks pretty darn droopy. I think uh, Optimism also absolutely got crushed from the highs. So Casper also coming down. Looks like uh, pressure to the downside for a lot of these coins here unless built unless Bitcoin can really start to make it uh, turn around here. Pressure to the downside on Gala. I think that's it for me today, guys. We covered everything. Ethereum, you know, level to the downside on Ethereum is going to be 1760. So we hit our 1785 target. Uh, if we do wick down uh, 1760 area of interest and then 1670 areas of interest to the downside. If Bitcoin does want to swipe our 27.5 target, uh, I think ETH will probably swipe that 1670. And then, uh, you know, there's there's support levels on the way down, but that is it. And I think we're getting closer to a bounce than not, but I could be wrong. And again, uh, that will be unconfirmed until Bitcoin can make a major reversal by creating a higher low on a at least an hourly time frame we don't even have that yet so you can just see clear hourly downtrend and bitcoin heading down to the next level would be twenty eight thousand one hundred. with that guys um i think that's it have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day rest of your weekend i will catch up with you uh on friday tomorrow take care